It's a little sum of the what the week can bring you. You know what I'm saying? If you got a habit, quite like mine. And the habit is simply um, enjoying things that you love to enjoy. Shouts out. If you don't know who I am by this present day and hour, Big Ball Sauce, Cap Kush, Smokers Nation, 420, all day, every motherfucking day, Cannabis Culture, Boss Mode, ENT. Um, let's give special thanks to the Most High. You know, we here for another day, regardless of what ups and downs and turmoil the day bring you. We could not be here, so that's enough to enjoy. That's enough for me to not squander a day sitting on my ass at all costs. I try with each day to help the next individual out because you don't know what somebody else's breaking point is and where they at and what they dealing with. So even though if I'm going through anything, I don't try to project that out to others. I don't try to make it as to where what I'm going through supersedes the universe. I try to become one with it and get my spirit back right no matter what I'm going through. So for all those who going through something today, man, I'ma light up and bright up for you, man. I'ma get geeked up with my feet up for you. And hopefully I can inspire you to uh, possibly get rid of some of those negatives and throw in a little positivity, um, some better coping mechanisms, put down the bottle, put down the pills, put down um, the cigarettes, the things that aren't doing anything, going shopping. It's not helping or, or assessing the issues as well as adjusting to better handle the issues. Captain Kush for real. Shall we? Shouts out to everybody who do what they do. Medical marijuana for all. Um, if you don't want to smoke it, you know what I mean? There's other ways, vaporizing, edibles, tinctures, whatever, man. Don't, you can juice the leaves and whatnot. There's so many different uh, properties and great effects. So do your education. Watch Dr. Gupta special on CNN. I think he has a part two now, weed. Watch the history of chronic, so many, um, so high me, super high me. How the West was won. Find out the rules about marijuana being legal when the last time it was legal and the reasons why it's not legal, why you quick to judge and say, I just don't fuck with it because it's illegal. There's a lot of shit you do that's considered illegal that you just do. Because you want to be you. You don't feel like you bother nobody or hurt nobody. Who am I hurting to smoke marijuana? I ain't even hurt myself a crackhead killing themselves. Person who smokes cigarettes killing themselves. Person who over drink killing themselves. Popping pills you're killing yourself. But I take some natural from the earth in all aspects. And you'll tell me what you don't do and how fucked up I am for doing it. We all know that's a goddamn lie. But you entitled to your fuckboy ass opinion and thought process that ain't molded and guided by no truth, facts, or anything relevant. You just live in a falsehood world of make-believe and what I think and how I feel is more important than reality and what's right in front of you. Life comes with so many adversities and ups and downs and situations based off, once again, where you put yourself. I seem to put myself 
more times than not in situations around people that they're just so gun ho in their ways that everything about me bothers them because I'm not like them I don't move like them now I care for everybody I, I want the best for everybody but not to the point where you have to move the way I want you to move you have to talk think the way I want you to think that's an impossible thing I don't want you to think anything besides what it is You say something fucked up about me, I'm supposed to just go with it because it's your feelings? Boss, you fucked up individual. You a low down, dirty scoundrel, son of a bitch. And I say, yes, sir, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm, I's what you say I am. You a goddamn lie. That's, that's not how it's going whatsoever, my nigga. Don't do it like that. That ain't how we do it. Bro. Man ain't got the right to stand up for himself, stand up for what he stand, live for his moral principles and core morals and whatnot. What the fuck am I out here living for? So I can appeal to others, so I can uh come across as a yes boy. And the fuck nigga, as I would call it. That's just me, man. Help me understand people's logic or why they treat other people like shit and justify it. Because I ain't, I ain't aware of that type of behavior was okay by God's grace. I don't think he put that in you. I think that's you. Or what Christians would say, that's the devil right now. But I ask niggas to be, the, be their own selves, find out who that is and what that is, and maybe get a closer understanding of what you're here for. Ask for your purpose. Ask for your meaning. Ask why... You're not happy with how things are going. Maybe you're not living your life to your potential. Maybe you're not spreading your wings. Maybe you're not taking that first step forward. So God can't help you in those situations. Speaking for myself too, I don't know exactly what it is I'm not doing to not reap my blessings, but This ain't one of them. I was told lately, I smoke too much. <laughs> oh man. If there was such a thing as smoking too much marijuana, I've already done that. Smoke too much. Oh, not enough, goddammit. If I was smoked up, geeked up every day, seven moon, planet Jupiter, goddamn beachfront property every day, shit. May I be in heaven. Not heaven, but heaven. You know what I'm talking about? That was for a hater or a whole that don't know, man. Do you like to the fullest fuck what a hater say? Or naysayer? Somebody who just going against the grain their whole life that it done started to feel good. That fuck shit feel good to them. So they try to portray it, throw it off on us like it ain't fuck shit. Like this ain't fuck shit. What the fuck is it? That bullshit? No, it ain't bullshit. Fuck is it? I keep it real. I keep it 100. Matter of fact, I keep it 1,000. I'm like, nigga, stop. The way you move is... It's kind of like niggas baseball average in the double A or some shit. Pop Warner, nigga. That shit is, lo and behold, you know when you, you start a game on a computer and it got your statistics on your winning percentage. 
you know, want you one for that itself. My out here talking about you keep it one hundred. What percentage of a hundred do you keep it? About everything. About all situations, about all circumstances, including shit relately. Re not relately, but related to you directly. What do you keep 100? All your insecurities, you keep it 100. How much you weigh? How much you got down? How many niggas you fuck? How much you eat a day? What's your weight? What's your actual age? You keep it 100? Are those your nails? Is that how your face look? Is that how long your hair is? Are your titties really that big? Is your gut really that flat? And that's an oxymoron in itself. Do you not suck every nigga's dick you fuck? But, you know, you keep it real like that. All y'all claiming what you don't do, you done it. You done it. If you don't do it for me, you're doing it for somebody. Sucking and fucking and swallowing and hoeing and whatever comes to mind. Lying. Deceit. Betrayal, you do all that shit. But with me, you point the finger and say, Look at that, that guy. You can eat a dick, as far as I'm concerned, for all the people who got something to say about a real nigga speaking real shit. Trying to impact motherfuckers in a positive manner and not take away from, from nothing, but add to. Am I supposed to see the table a mess and not clean it up because I didn't have nothing to do with fucking it up? No. I get in there and do what I need to do, what needs to be done. I don't need nobody to get a group together, a committee, or have a press conference or another meeting. To have the ability, God's grace, to have the ability to, to, to do and impact something that needs to be done. It's a mess. And most of you are a mess. The way you think is messy, ratchet, fucked up, ignorant. All the shit they say niggas, uh, what the word nigger really means. Y'all niggas act ignorant. Ignorance is bliss as fuck. Chris Rock said it. Don't then make a nigga more happy than to not know. I don't know that shit. I don't want to do that shit. That ain't my shit. That ain't my job. God damn, nigga ass nigga. So used to going against the grain, it ain't your fault. The history was bad, but you got to reverse the history to move forward. And if you okay with how shit is out here in these Americas that we stay in, these ununited states of America we live in, you got a few years to get your shit together. After that, I can't help. I don't know what the fuck gonna happen. Second Amendment is to bear arms. You better get you something to tote. First Amendment is to free speech and, and, and to read what you like and all that whatnot and publish what you like, but you niggas ain't publishing shit. You niggas ain't talking about shit. About your shoes and, and your chains and your cars and, and your bitches. Uh-huh. What about the children suffering in the schools? What about our older people suffering in these these homes and these hospices and the hospital not giving proper care as a race, period. No education, no community shit, no sports shit, no no art shit for the for the little ones, for adults who who, who got talent and can't work. Fucked up out here, niggas talking about chains. I heard that already, nigga. Talk about something else, my nigga. Talk about the time you went back to your hood and just showed love and bought up all the businesses and put the people who worked in the community to work in their community. Build a fucking gym and, and a school and hire motherfuckers who done got let, laid off. Come on, man. I'm the only nigga who feel like this. That's what y'all niggas telling me. Y'all niggas don't want to see shit change out here. I'm the only one dreaming and wishing out this hope. I hope not. I hope that ain't the case.
smoke that shit like that shit, man. You did. All smoke and tea smokers nation for twenty all day, every motherfucking day. Take you out like I brought you in.